Okay, so it is day one of Camp NaNoWriMo and it is approximately three in the morning because <laughs> I'm the worst. And my word count goal for today is 1,000 words. Technically, it's a little bit less because I have a 30,000 word goal and July is 31 days, but I'm trying to do 1,000 words a day, giving myself a grace day just in case and hoping I get more. So like I said, it's about 3 a.m. Once it hits three, which is in a few seconds, I am going to start writing. I'm probably gonna try to write for an hour or until I get to 1,000 words whichever one comes easier, whichever one works better. And uh, I don't know if I'll check back in with you afterward because I might be sleepy and just want to go to sleep. That's what happens when you're sleepy. But um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna go to bed right afterward, but I'm very excited, very hype. If you haven't seen my pre NaNoWriMo video that I filmed, I'll link that up in the cards because that's pretty important. Also, I have a video from this past NaNoWriMo where I talked about what story I'm working on, so I'll link that up in the cards. But I might actually talk about the story a little bit when I wake up in the morning just because I feel like I need to describe it more because I didn't describe it in the video that I posted earlier and I described it in the NaNoWriMo one but like that was like over six months ago. I'm rambling. Let's get started on this like pseudo writing sprint. So I was about to say it's the next day but actually it's just later on day one. It's now about two in the afternoon and I have not gotten any writing done since waking up, but I did get quite a bit written before I went to sleep. I didn't even write for a full hour when I said that I was going to, um, but I ended up getting a little bit less than 1,400 words in, so I already have over my word count for the day, which is great. Um, but since it is day one, I wanted to go ahead and tell y'all about my story because I've mentioned the premise in some other videos, but it's been a while since I laid out the premise in a video and just explained it. So since it's day one, that's what I'm gonna do. If you want more details than what I'm going to go into in this video, I will send you to my NaNoWriMo videos from this past year, the writing vlog that I filmed right before that, which should be, I think, six or seven, whichever one was right before NaNoWriMo 2017, and any of the writing videos I've made in the past couple weeks. But basically, the story I'm working on is a fanfic. It is a day six fanfic, and it centers around an original character and Brian from day six, or Young K, if you want to call him that. But of course, there's a problem, because this is a story. Uh, my main character is American, and Brian spends almost all of his time in South Korea promoting with Day6 and doing all of the band stuff. And so despite the fact that they've met and they're developing this close bond, they're soon going to be on opposite sides of the world and not really able to see each other and also not really able to be open about a relationship because K-pop fandom can be a little bit of a lot <laughs> and um, idols even dating, especially when they're under a dating ban, is a big deal. But of course my main character Hannah also has her own problems. She's a student, she's just about to finish school and trying to find her first like real professional job and on top of this she now is potentially going to be in a long distance relationship with someone that she can't even be open about her relationship with because again the whole idol thing. So the story is about Hannah and Brian and their relationship and like kind of real life struggles but also lots of fun and dramatic stuff because it's a fanfic. Since it is a fanfic and it's something that I'm going to be posting online rather than like trying to publish, I'm going to definitely be a little bit more open with details of the story than I would be otherwise, but I am also posting this online so I don't want to give everything away, but I will talk a little bit more uh, in depth, not fully in depth, but like I will go into a little bit more detail about the story than I would about something I was trying to publish. So yeah, that's my story. Um, I am 1400 words in ish to NaNoWriMo and also this is something that I've been working on for a while so I think I'm like 86 or 87 thousand words into it. I rampled too much at the beginning. R remember I'm literally at the beginning of section two. I have two full sections left out of three. But yeah, um, I don't know when I'm going to write more today, but I'm definitely going to write more today and I will update sometime later. Hey, so it's day two of Camp NaNoWriMo and my word count goal for the day is 2,000 words total. Um, I have not written anything since I last updated you. Um, I've been editing this video five ever and you're probably like, Kristen, why do you have earbuds in? Um, I'm currently watching a Twitch stream of people commentating on 
a Big Brother live stream, like the Big Brother live feeds. So um, I'm multitasking right now, but I wanted to go ahead and take this time to write. Um, so I'm currently, I think, still at about 1,400 words. So if I write 600 at some point today, I will be caught up to my 2,000, which typically I don't want to do. Typically I want to try to write at least 1,000 words a day regardless. But today with this video editing and everything going a little bit haywire, I just want to like take some time to chill. <laughs> and um, so I'm going to use my writing time to chill a little bit, but I can't take too much time because I'm multitasking. I'm it's a lot anyway but um <laughs> yeah that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna write and I'll get back with you at some point hey so it is day three of Camp NaNoWriMo and my word count goal for the day is 3,000 words and I have not written since the last time I updated in which I said I think that I was going to be writing um, that was last night I think um, basically I was working on a video really late and then by the time I was done I was too sleepy to write because it was like three or four in the morning. So I went to bed. Um, but I just got home from work and I plan to write quite a bit today. By quite a bit, I don't mean like a ton, like going crazy, but I do want to get a lot of writing done today. Maybe like 2,000 words? We'll see. Tomorrow's also the 4th of July, which means that work is closed tomorrow. So that's nice. I don't have to go to work tomorrow. So that means I have the rest of this evening and tomorrow to write as much as I want. I, as usual, am not going to be spending that entire time writing because I bounce all over the place. I can't do one thing for too long, except sometimes video editing. Anyway, I digress. I'm going to be writing tonight. I'm going to be writing tomorrow. Hopefully I get a lot done. For real this time, I will check back in with you later today when I have written because I'm going to actually write today. So it is now day four of Camp NaNoWriMo and these glasses are actually kind of growing on me. Um, I've been wearing them every time I've been writing and I'm actually kind of enjoying it. That said, I did get the less big and stupid looking ones on Amazon so those are gonna get here tomorrow so we'll see if those look any less ridiculous on my face because honestly these look kind of too big. But um, it is a like afternoon on uh, day four and I was bad about updating last night but I'm gonna update now. So I don't exactly remember when I last updated but I know that I hadn't written yet on day three and I was able to get to like 3400 by the end of day three and then I was going to write to the 4000 mark um, last night before going to sleep um, like at two or three in the morning um, but I got really sleepy and I only got to like I want to say it was like less than 4,000 words. It wasn't to the day four goal yet. But I just spent a while writing and I was able to get to the 4,500 word mark, which also gets me to the 90,000 word mark in my draft, which is so many words. Um, but so I am now past my day four goal because my goal is to write a thousand words per day and that's 4,000 so we're at 4,500 um, but I do want to write more today because I do want to get ahead and I want to finish the chapter that I'm on. Also I wanted to use this update to talk a little bit about my actual story itself because I haven't done that since I think like day one of Camp NaNoWriMo. So um, I wanted to talk about where I'm kind of at with the story because I don't know why this happened to me both now and in like NaNoWriMo but the beginning of Camp NaNoWriMo and the beginning of NaNoWriMo a few months ago I've been at like a weird spot in my story at the very beginning of like the the month and it's really frustrating because I feel like it gets me started off on a really weird note. I can't remember if I talked about this when I talked about the premise of the story but it starts in December. That's when Hannah and Brian meet while Hannah is on winter break from school and Brian is in a little bit of a break from his day six schedules. But then of course Hannah has to go back to school and Brian has to go back to Korea for day six stuff so there's a significant portion of the story where they're not together and they only get to really communicate via like FaceTime and text and stuff like that. However, during this period of time when they're not getting to be with each other all the time, um, there is a section of it where they do get to see each other intermittently, but January, which is where I'm at right now in the story, is not that time. And it's kind of a weird like in-between section that like has to be there and has to exist because of the plot, 
but it also is really frustrating for me to write because it's not as fun um, and the stuff that happens in like February and March and April is a little bit more interesting so I'm kind of at a spot where I'm like ugh, I don't want to write this part right now but like it has to be here um, so I I'm hoping to like get through that as soon as possible this chapter that I'm working on right now I can't remember I think it's chapter 12 chapter 13 something like that it's like right at the beginning of this period of time that they're not together and once I finish this chapter the next chapter gets into February which is more interesting it's more fun I enjoy it more so um, that's kind of where I want to get to and I'm almost done with this chapter I want to finish it today and then move on to February tomorrow if I can so yeah um, I don't know how much more writing I'm gonna get done today um, because I did just spend quite a while getting through some stuff that I wasn't super excited about writing so I kind of just want to be done but I do think that I'm gonna try to get to the end of the chapter by the end of the day so that's it for now I will update y'all again at some point maybe today maybe tomorrow I don't know I've been bad about updating so the smaller frames are definitively worse I so thought these were gonna be good honestly I wanted more of a middle ground like these are really small and then these are just kind of too big I really wanted something kind of in the middle because those are like really tiny and these are like really big and I wanted some sort of nice middle ground, but at this point I've gotten three pairs of non-prescription glasses and I think that's more than enough for any one human. So I'm sticking with these and I need to figure out some way to clean them because even though I keep like wiping them off and trying to like get them clean, um, they're still kind of blurry at this point. I guess I don't properly know how to clean glasses, especially fake ones, so um... We'll see. I need to figure out what to do because it's not like I can't see out of them. Obviously, they don't look weird, but like it's gotten to the point where I can tell that they need to be cleaned. And I don't know how to do that because I don't know how to clean things, or at least clean glasses. It's like almost 3 a.m. Anyway, I just realized that I haven't mentioned when it is. It has just turned over to day six of Camp NaNoWriMo, so it's like 3 a.m. on day six. Um, huh, day six. Um, anyway, I have not written yet today, and by today I mean since waking up. Um, I wrote last night, I can't remember when I last updated, but I wrote last night right before going to bed, and I got to, I believe, the 5,000 word mark, past the 5,000 word mark. Let me check on that. You'd think this would be the kind of thing that I would check on before picking up my camera to film, but like... It's me, so obviously I didn't. So yeah, my word count before going to sleep last night was 5,170 words. So that was at the beginning of day five. So like I was ahead and now I am back like on track kind of cause it's day six and I need to get another like 900-ish words in before the end of the day. Um, and I am probably just gonna write now, um, which is why I'm updating right now and why I'm got these on. Um, I am going to finish filming this and then I'm going to write a bit, but I wanted to sit and talk a little bit about how I'm feeling about this, which is not great. And I'm taking these off because I've got something in my eye and this is just not a good time. And now it looks weird to look at myself like in the camera without glasses on, even though I've literally never actually had to wear glasses in my life. Anyway, moving on. So obviously the words that are written for anyone in Camp NaNoWriMo are not going to be like the best words you've ever written. Like the point of these kind of things is to get words on the page. It is to get the story on the page, to get it out, and later you edit it and you make it better. And I'm aware of that. But as I'm writing and I know that I'm pushing myself to get words on the page, I constantly find myself being like, this writing is absolute garbage. This dialogue is cringy. This, I'm skipping over something. I'm like, you know, whizzing past a scene and kind of like staying on the surface level even though I want this to be a more detailed scene. And I'm doing this and my excuse is, oh, it's Camp NaNoWriMo, it's fine, I'll fix it later. And I feel like this is kind of both a good thing and a bad thing. Like in one sense, having this like, it's Camp NaNoWriMo, I'll fix it later. Having that mindset like helps me to get past some things that might be roadblocks for me if I were just writing on an average day because sometimes I can get hung up on details. But at the same time, it also promotes a bit of laziness on my part. 
And so I'm really struggling to try to balance the two and to kind of try to figure out like when it's okay to skim over stuff and when I need to actually write something even when I'm not super excited about it in the moment. But on top of that though, I feel like that kind of thing also exposes to me what parts of my story might be less interesting to readers. Like, the parts that are less interesting for me to write are also probably going to be the less interesting parts to read. So it's making me reevaluate my story and like certain sections of it that I already kind of knew were going to be the less interesting chapters just because they are kind of interim chapters, I guess. But I'm now debating whether or not they even need to exist. They do. But like, it's making me reevaluate and try to think of ways to make them more interesting. Especially with a fanfic, because these types of things are posted online over a period of time versus like being committed by like chapter 10 of a book to actually finishing the book. So like I feel like this is helping me to reevaluate certain sections of it and make sure it's still interesting so that I won't like lose people mid-story. But anyway, back to my point at the very beginning of the section. This stupid writing, like I feel like everything that I'm writing is garbage. Not just like the plot, because I feel like I'm mostly following the plot that I meant to, but like my actual writing. Like trying to get words on a page in a short amount of time just makes me feel so bad about the actual words that I'm writing. I feel like I am making my characters sound dull and flat. I feel like I am making my like descriptions of places just like really surface level and not that great. I feel like my dialogue is just really cringy. Like I just, I don't know if it's like my current state of mind or if it's just in general, but like I'm not feeling super great about my actual writing. Which isn't surprising because I feel like most people are fairly critical of themselves. Like, I mean, you are your own worst critic is a saying for a reason, but like right now in this moment, it's especially true for me. I think what it gets down to is that doing something like Camp NaNoWriMo makes it really easy for me to feel like I haven't progressed in my writing ability because there's a very big difference between writing quickly in Cape NaNoWriMo just to get words on the page and actually sitting there and like taking time and putting thought into the words that you're putting on the page and like I feel like I probably have progressed as a writer over the past couple of years especially just because you know the more you write the more better you get at it I knew that was I knew that was bad going the better you get at it <laughs> more better it's 3 a.m. you know don't judge me Anyway, <laughs> but the more you write, the better you get at it. But when you throw the whole aspect of just throwing words onto the page into it, it becomes a little bit more complicated. And so that's kind of where I'm sitting right now is like, I'm sure that my writing ability has improved over the past couple of years because I have been writing a lot more than I had been over the few years before that. But like, it doesn't feel like it when I'm just putting garbage words on the page to get words on the page. And sure, maybe I'm being too harsh on myself for a fanfic, but that's how I feel. And it's 3 a.m., so I really need to get to writing if I'm going to do that before I go to sleep. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And I will get back with you sometime tomorrow or like later on day six, because there's no way I'm getting back with you after I finish writing. I'm probably gonna like immediately go to sleep when I finish, so um, I'll check back in with you probably in the evening. Hey, so it is day seven of Camp NaNoWriMo. My word count goal for the day is 7,000 words and it is almost the end of the day and I don't know when I last updated, so we're gonna talk. Honestly, I think the last time I updated was the end of the day on day five going into day six or maybe like, like three or four in the morning at the beginning of day six. <laughs> day six. Actually, that probably was because I remember making the day six pun. Anyway, um, and then I proceeded to fall asleep while trying to write, and I didn't get as far as I wanted to, and then I didn't write throughout the day yesterday during day six, which is ironic given that this fanfic is about the band day six. And then I think I tried again to write a little bit last night before I went to sleep, but I think I 
got tired again and I got a little bit written, but not much. So at the beginning of the day, today, day seven, I was slightly behind. I wanna say I had like 6,600 words. But fortunately for me, even though I have work on Saturdays, I work at the Cirque desk, which I think I said last week, which means that basically, especially since it's so dead on Saturdays, I get to just sit at the desk and wait for someone to come and ask me for help. So that's basically just me sitting on my laptop and having time to do whatever I want, which today was writing. And by the time I got off work today, I had passed the 8,000 word mark. For Camp NaNoWriMo. I'm currently sitting at about 8,100 words, so I've already gotten my words for day eight, which is about to start, but I actually kind of want to write more tonight before I go to sleep, so that's what I plan on doing. Like I said, it's not quite day eight yet. I've still got about 10 minutes left in the day, and um, I feel actually pretty good about the words that I got written today. I ended up finally, I think yesterday, whenever I was like trying to write and then falling asleep while doing so, I finally ended up finishing uh, the last chapter that I was working on, which I think was chapter 13. And today I got to write one of the fun chapters. So I just checked my outline and it was in fact chapter 13 that I finished yesterday and chapter 14 that I was writing today. I actually only ended up getting like, I would say a third of the way through, maybe halfway if I'm being like really nice to myself, but it's, it's more like a third of the way through. And like, I'm actually really enjoying what I wrote today. I mean, it's not like the best writing I've ever written the best writing I've ever written. Does that make sense? I don't know. But um, it's not the best writing I've ever done, but it's pretty decent for Camp NaNoWriMo and it's definitely better than what I was writing over the past few days. So I really think that the fact that I'm more excited about this section of the story means that my writing is better. Um, but I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about that January section of the story. Cause chapter 14 that I'm working on right now is um, in mid-February and the, like, section right before that, from, like, mid-January until mid-February is kind of boring. I might have said this in my last update as well, but I just need to figure out something that can happen in there that is more interesting than what I currently have happening. And I'm definitely gonna have those little mini chapters where I talked about that I'm gonna have, like, social media stuff and, like, texting back and forth that's gonna be snarky, but that's gonna be in between chapters. I need something in the main plot line that's gonna be a little more interesting than what I have going on now. That said though, given how much I got written today, I feel like I've got some pretty good momentum going right now and I definitely wanna keep that up. Um, honestly, I kind of wanna to get to the 9,000 word mark by the time I go to sleep tonight. That feels like a little bit of a lofty goal, but at the same time, that's only about like 900 more words and I like got through a ton at work today. And um, so I think I can do it, but um, I know that I also have other stuff I need to do. So yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave off this week one video. At this point, I'm very excited. We're about to get into some of the sections of the story that I really, really enjoy. Um, I am very excited about where this is going right now, and I really kind of hope to have finished this first draft by the end of Camp NaNoWriMo. Like, I feel like if I do finish the draft, I will have written more than 30,000 words, so like maybe it's not feasible, but at the same time I also feel like it's feasible for me to write more than 30,000 words in Camp NaNoWriMo depending on what else I have going on. So that is it for this vlog on my first week of Camp NaNoWriMo. As always, I will leave links down in the description to my blog, Twitter, and Goodreads. Please add me as a friend on Goodreads. I would love to be friends with all of you. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!